Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a bit more fun, a bit more colorful. We have a pink toned eyeshadow and a beautiful red lip to contrast. And this was actually inspired by Katie Jane Hughes. I'll leave her Instagram here. <laughs> so you can see she does amazing work. I love her, we talk all the time. And you should definitely check her out, she's amazing. And for today's video, it's gonna be a bit more skin focused as well. So we use a lot of skincare in the beginning because skin prep is important. <laughs> and yeah, the model for today is a beautiful Shema. I've done a video with her before, the Sunset Glam. So he she's here again without a ponytail. <laughs> oh my God, look at how cute Timmy looks today. He looks so grumpy and cute. What is his face? He's like, I want to go outside and play with the cats. <laughs> Honestly, he's just living the life. So please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'd love for you to see more of my videos. I'd love to engage with you as well because Timmy would really like that as well. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into the video. I'm going to be toning Shema's clean skin and I'm taking the Sisley Purifying Rebalancing Lotion and putting that all over the skin with a cotton pad. So this is what I would do for skin prep for different clients. Obviously, I kind of like to stick to one brand if I'm doing an entire skincare routine. I might switch things up. Next, I'm going to mist her face with the Sisley Floral Spray Mist just to give that layer of hydration before moisturizer. And for moisturizer, I'm taking the Ecological Compound Cream. And I'm going to be rubbing that all over the skin and down her neck as well. And really massaging and rubbing it in. And finishing off with this double tensor as a primer, and I'm going to tap it all over the skin. For foundation, again, I'm going to be taking the Sisley Anti-Aging Foundation, and I'm going to buff that into the skin with a Makeup Forever 152 brush, again, working in very thin layers and building it up. Shema's got great skin, so I'm not really going to sit here and add unnecessary layers, so I'm just going to work with what she has, which is beautiful skin. And adding that sheer layer and then going in with concealer when I need to cover. For cream contour and bronzing, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in the shade number 30. And I'm taking that contour shade as a both contour and a bronzer to warm up the skin and give more definition. And I'm using that with a Makeup Forever 144 brush. And I'm putting that on the temples, the forehead, cheekbones, uh, tip of the nose as well. And I always like to blend out my contour with my foundation brush because it already has product on it and it'll blend it even easier and more seamlessly. For concealer, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the color Natural Beige. And I'm using that more to highlight and brighten her face. So apply it in any areas where I'd want to bring forward and highlight. And taking my damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend that in and buff it into the skin. Because this concealer is very thin, it kind of does really spread. So I'm taking my foundation brush so that it doesn't spread too far into the contour and blending that in more precisely. Actually, this blends it in more it diffuses it more, if that makes sense. To set and bake her under eyes, because I'm going in with a colorful shadow, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Banana Bread. And I'm gonna press that under her eyes with a beauty blender again. And take it on her jaw as a highlight. For brows, I'm taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. And I'm gonna focus on thickening her brows from the top. So kind of just brushing everything upwards and working with that shape. And I'm setting her brows with the MAC Brow Set in Clear. I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer as an eyeshadow base. And smoothing that on the lids. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be focusing on that mid-tone pink. And I'm taking a bit of that lighter creamy pink shade to create kind of like a, I don't know, transition color. <laughs> Before I pack on that mid-tone pink. And I'm using a MAC 217 brush to pack on the color and blend the edges. And you kind of want to take your time because this is the base of the look. So you want it to be even and pretty and diffused because all the work is going to go on top of this. Repeat the same steps on the other eye. And then going in with the second palette, which is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette, which is the purple one. And I'm going to take the more pinky purple in the palette, which is kind of a warmer purple and focusing that on the outer corner and packing it on a bit more than I'm blending. Going back to that mid-tone pink, I'm going to take it on a Makeup Forever 212 brush and just, and just brushing it on the lower lash line. And mix a bit of that cooler toned purple in the Amethyst palette and diffuse it on the outer corners and lower lash line. Then taking the darkest purple in the palette and I'm going to use that as a smoked out wing liner. And then I'm going to take the lightest shimmery pink shade in the Ruby palette. 
and just packing it on with the brush. I found that it doesn't really work well with a brush, so I tried it wet and that didn't really, really help. The best way to use these is with your finger and putting a bit of it on the inner corners. To intensify that wing, I'm taking the Sisley Phyto Cold Star Waterproof Eyeliner in Sparkling Brown. And I'm gonna blend it again with the darkest purple shade. Because we've done shimmer, you wanna just add a bit more of that pink in the crease and blend away with a clean brush. Sweep away the bake and any fallout. For mascara, I'm using the Sisley Phyto Mascara Ultra Stretch in the shade Deep Black. And I'm gonna apply that on the upper and lower lashes. For sculpting and bronzing, I'm taking the Sigma Sculpt Palette. I was really excited to use this when I got it in the mail because I do love Sigma. And again, I'm going to use this as a contour and as a bronzer. For nose contour, I'm taking the lightest contour shade on a Sephora Large 12 brush. And I'm just going to focus that contour on the tip of the nose to make it a bit more sculpted. And that's kind of my favorite contour trick. And I'm also going to be trying the Sigma Blush Palette. And I'm taking the pink color, which is called Pinkin, with a Sigma F37 brush. And I'm gonna sweep that upwards and a bit on the bridge of the nose, on the chin, just to give it a bit more of a youthful pink glow. Before highlighting, I'm gonna set her face with that Sisley spray once again, just to make sure all the powders have kind of melted into the skin. For highlight, I'm mixing the lightest and middle shade from the Sigma palette, and I'm gonna use that on a Ray Morris number two brush. And just highlighting the high points of the cheeks, the Cupid's bow, tip of the nose. And I'm gonna take that highlighter a bit in the brow bone as well. On a Zoeva 220 brush, I'm doing very detailed highlighting on the bridge of the nose and on the tip of the nose as well. For lashes, my favorite individuals, these are the Ardell individual lashes in medium, and I'm using that with a Huda Beauty glue because that glue does not budge, and it's perfect for individuals. And for lip liner, I'm taking the Sicily lip liner in the shade Ruby, and I'm gonna be lining her lips very neatly. I mean, I don't know if it looks really neat, <laughs> but... Lighting her lips as neat as I can before going in with lipstick. And I'm using the Sisley Lip Twist Matte in the shade 18, which is a beautiful matte red. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lips and filling it in. And going in with a Sigma E46 brush for a bit more detail and more precision. With a red lip, I always like to clean around the lip with concealer and I'm using the Makeup Forever 262 brush to do that. And as I finish the lip, I feel like I need a bit more blush, so I add a bit more. And that is the final look. It's very colorful, it's very fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click left or right to see more of my videos and continue browsing my channel.